This video is brought to you by Ridge Wallet, a slim front pocket wallet available in carbon fiber and titanium. With more than 250,000 sold, a lifetime guarantee and free shipping, get 10% off with the code GOLDFISH at RidgeWallet.com. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So as you know, Monday means it's Modern Monday here in Instant Deck Tech land, and we have a super sweet Guilds of Ravnica influence deck to look at today. This is is it Phoenix we're going with? It's basically like this somewhat burny, is it spell slingy, slightly combo-ish aggro deck. And it comes to us from Mental Misstep, who took it to a 5-0 finish in a competitive modern league on Magic Online. So congrats to Mental Misstep on a super sweet deck. A quick reminder before we break down, is it Phoenix for modern? If you enjoy this deck and y'all want to see it main to videos, take a minute, click the like button button the subscribe button leave a comment anything you can do to support your deck because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week so is it phoenix the phoenix we are talking about is arc light phoenix a card that was a little bit poo pooed and underrated when it was first spoiled but it's proving to have a little bit of potential in multiple formats so basically the thing about arc light phoenix is you don't really want to cast it i mean you can cast it it's fine if you cast it three two flying haste whatever the big deal is, if you can get into your graveyard and cast three spells in the same turn, you get to get back any number of Arclight Phoenixes that are in your graveyard for free. So our plan is not so much to cast Phoenix, but get in our graveyard, cast some spells, get them back, hit our opponent with a huge burst of hasty flying damage. So to support our Phoenix, we have a couple of other creatures that work well with the cast a lot of spell plans. Runaway Steamkin is kind of like this weird prowess for red spells, except the prowess sticks around round. Basically, as we cast our spells, we put counters on our runaway steamkin. If we want to, we can empty the counters to add mana and cast more spells to get more counters, but essentially, it's a 2-mana 1-1 one, one that's going to end up being a 2-mana 4-4 four, four really quickly, because our deck casts a lot of red spells really fast. And then Monastery Swift Spear has literal prowess, so as we are casting our spells to get back our Art Lake Phoenix, we are also growing our Monastery Swift Spear into a 2-3, then a 3-4, then a 4-5, so it's hitting for a ton of damage out of the 1-drop slot. Our last creature isn't so much an aggressive attacker, but more a support piece for our plan of casting a ton of spells in a turn, and that is Goblin Electromancer. So Electromancer, one of our reasons to kind of splash into blue, makes all of our instants and sorceries cheaper, which when we want to cast a ton of them in the same turn to pump our Monastery Swift Spear and grow our Runaway Steamkin and get back our Art Lake Phoenixes, having our spells be cheaper is a really nice benefit and makes Goblin Electromancer really strong in our deck. So what spells are we using to support this kind of is it spell slinger plan in modern? First off, off, we gotta get our Phoenix in the graveyard. So for this, we have four copies of Faithless Looting, four copies of Chart of Course. Faithless Looting, just turn one, loot twice, discard some Phoenixes, hopefully, and then it's a cheap spell that we can cast to get back Phoenix. We can even flash it back from the graveyard if we're desperate for another spell. Chart of Course, it can be card advantage, drawing us two cards if we attacked with something, which with Monastery Swift Spear, Steamkins, Arclight Phoenix, pretty easy to do in the mid game. Or in the early game, we can use it intentionally to draw and discard to get a Phoenix Phoenix in the graveyard, so then we can get it back for free. So these cards get our Phoenix in the graveyard. Then we have some free spells. Manamorphous, Gut Shot. These cards are really important to our Phoenix plan because we need those three spells to get back our Phoenix, and being able to have spells that cost literally zero mana helps make sure we can get there really early in the game. Maybe even on like turn two, we can take in maybe let's say Faithless Looting on turn one, discard a couple Art Light Phoenixes, and this is kind of magical Christmas land nut draw territory, but let's say it works. We discard two Arclight Phoenixes to Faithless Looting on turn one. On turn two, we can do things like Manamorphose, Manamorphose, Lightning Bolt, or Gut Shot, or whatever other spell. Get back our Phoenixes. That is a huge, really fast clock in the air coming out really early in the game. Plus, Manamorphose and Gut Shot are also red spells, growing our runaway Steamkin. They are also just spells, so they are pumping our Monastery Swift Spear. So very synergistic with the plan of our deck. Otherwise, we do have some burn spells, and these spells are really important for helping us close out the game. With our hasty attackers, our swift spears, our arc light phoenixes, our big runaway steamkin, we can get in a lot of damage, and then lightning bolts and fiery tempers just help us close out the game a little quicker. Fiery temper in this deck 
pretty synergistic because we have things like Faithless Looting and Chart, of course, to discard it, so a lot of times we can turn it into a Lightning Bolt in its own right. Otherwise, our last card is Risk Factor, which is just our big finisher. We get in all this hasty damage, we are pressuring our opponent's life total, then when we Risk Factor, our opponent's got to make a really tough choice. Are they going to take four damage and maybe just die to all our hasty attackers? Are they going to let us draw three cards, which is going to mean more hasty attackers, more burn spells, more free spells to pump our creatures and really go to town, and then after our opponent makes that choice, we can flash it back from our graveyard with Jumpstart to do it again, maybe just for two mana, with the help of our Goblin Electromancer, and that kind of gives us the combo -y feel of our deck, making our spells cheaper, exploding out of the gates really quickly, and getting in this huge burst of damage, and then using Risk Factor to slam the door shut, because really, our opponent's kind of going to be taking damage no matter what. If they take the damage up front, fine, we forge your face, maybe twice. If they let us draw cards, we are very likely going to draw four four damage worth of cards, and maybe even more than four damage worth of cards, so there's really no good option for our opponent with this deck with Risk Factor. Mana base wise, some fetch lands, some shock lands, some fast lands, and also some basic lands. In the sideboard, Flame McHeld comes in to give us some more grindy card advantage, doubling up our damage, really scary with Arclight Phoenix, comes down early if we need it to and empty our hand, but another way to just refill and generate card advantage against control decks that can deal with our stuff, Spell Pierce to kind of slow down our opponent a little bit in combo matchups, also protect our spells from our opponent's removal. A surgical Extraction in Tormod Script for Graveyards. Grim Lava Mancer gives us some removal that works well with the fact that we're dumping a ton of cards into our graveyard with all these cheap spells. Ancient Grudge for Artifacts, and that is Is It Phoenix for Modern. And that's our instant deck tag for today, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video! If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.